Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another reaction video. This one wasn't requested, but we have another one from Zach Russian. And this one's his experience at Mama T's Fish Fry. Okay, so like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications, comment down below. Any more suggestions, then we're going to get right on into the video. You already know this, so let's go. I appreciate y'all being real patient with me and all. But here's what's been going on. One, I did not make Mama T's birthday. I'll tell you why, because my dad decided to have a heart attack, because about seven years ago, he decided that mayonnaise and Slim Jims was a food group. So, I mean, what are you gonna do? Fucking white people, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, I did, however, get her a birthday present and sent her said birthday present. Now, apparently she liked it, because I got the invite. Well, I got her one of them 25 gallon fish fryers, the one you hook up to the propane bottle and you can cook a uh, jagillion fish at one time. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know where you're at, but down here in South Mississippi, we fry a lot of fish. Well, for Memorial Day weekend, I got the call. I said, yeah, I'll be there. I'm down like four flats. Well, she, she invited me over and all that stuff. Well, I knew what I was getting into. So about a week before time for the, for the fish fry, I started making preparations. I said, I ain't, well, it's too damn hot in South Mississippi now to go over there in jeans and boots like I was last time. So I'm gonna try to fit in I'm gonna go get me a pair of Jordans. <coughs> All right, I called my buddy. I said, buddy, what kind of Jordans I need to where I don't get laughed at? He said, just go get you a pair of uh, a number of Jordans. I said, All right, I'll run down there to, to Dick's and get me a pair. He said, no, 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 boy, you can't go down there to Dick's and get Jordans. I said, yeah, they sell them there. I didn't think he knew. I had no idea that there was a special kind of Jordan you had to get. What, apparently what they sell at Dick's is team jordans and you get your ass laughed straight out of the barbecue on that Max. you gotta go get numbered jordans at this point when he's talking i'm as lost as an illegal immigrant at a vote for trump rally i'm talking about i ain't got a shit and clue what the hell's going on none no never have so i go on one of them websites that he sent me fly something bought me a pair of jordans the only one that had my size size 15 I had to get a size 15 hang on a but uh Anyway, so I show up there in my Jordans. And after they done, you know, can, you know, they laughed at me and stuff like that, you know, I thought it'd be a good conversation piece. They had told me that I have committed one of the utmost crimes known to man. Apparently, when you get a pair of Jordans, you ain't supposed to walk normal. Okay, you ain't supposed to just walk, like, increase your toe and stuff. They put me in jump man jail is what they called it. Uh, let me get my yeah, disrespectful. You can't mess up a pair uh, of Jordans. See that right there? Got me a pair of number 23s right there. And you got a crease? There's a crease right here. <gasps> Apparently, you're not supposed to walk normal when you have a pair of Jordans. You're supposed you're to do, walk on your heels like a March of the Penguins type deal in order to keep your shoes in pristine condition. But the price of them some bitches, I completely understand. That, I digress on that. Anyway, on to the fish fry. So I say hey to everybody, and half of them remember me and all that type of stuff. Well, we get good and into it, and I want to help, but I don't want to piss nobody off, okay? <laughs> so I asked Mama T, I said, Mama T, can I help with anything? She, she said, yeah, go go see the boy that's, that's frying the fish, see if you can help him. So, all right. I go over there, and he's letting me help. That's how I know I'm climbing the ladder with this family, because he's letting me help. And when I say help, I mean I got to hold the 10 little pan thing with the napkins in it for when he dumped the fish in and then somebody would come Talking get that for me and take it to the food table. table because apparently they did not trust me to walk 25 feet from where I was standing to over there to the food table to put it on there anyway but I'm helping I'm acting like a fucking statue and I'm doing what a damn table could have done but guess what Zach's helping now one of the main things that I was excited about about going back to this fish fry is I was going to win my damn money back in dice Okay, so I went into the bank, got me a hundred dollars, ones, stack of them like that right yonder. I had a band around them and everything. I lost. Let me tell you something. I really need a, a course on that shit because this shit, they, they keep making up stuff. What the fuck is a side bet? There's a some bitch over here <laughs> who's betting me. He ain't even rolling. He ain't even in the game. He just keep on telling me to re-up. So I'm putting money over there and here. Why didn't we just increase the minimum? 
Why did, well, I'm betting two places, and when I lose, I lose both of them, but I might win that one and look. Ho, I, I won like two. Anyway, I got the band that the $100 came in left because that's all I got left. I'm going to win my money back. <laughs> Bet. I'm, I'm coming with it. I'm going to win it back. I don't know when, but I'm going to get it back. Well, anyway, everything's going good. Oh, another thing I learned. Somebody could have told me the little red bottles of the fish fry down here in the south, that's not ketchup at a black fish fry. That's hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Somebody could have told me that. There ain't a speck of ketchup nowhere, and there damn sure wasn't no tartar sauce. It was mm -hmm. hot sauce or dry. That's all you yep. got. Period. Well, we you know, we getting we getting on pretty well, pretty well. You know, I'm seeing everybody shaking hands and done lost my money, broke as hell again. And uh one of the boys asked me, said, Hey Zach, come on, we finna dance. I blame y'all for this. <laughs> Why did nobody tell me that I'm supposed to do two rounds of insanity and one round of P90X before I go get on the damn dance floor? This is insane. Because once you get there, you don't fucking leave. You You're know, just there. You're right. Well, we, the, whoever had the damn iPod that was playing music had five songs back to back, and not damn one of them was the boot scooting boogie. I'm flailing <laughs> around out there. I don't have a shitting clue what, what's going on. I'm flailing around like a fresh caught catfish that just hit the bottom of an aluminum boat in August. I'm talking about I ain't got no clue what's going on. It's hot. I'm fat. I got a bunch of shit going on. I am sweating more than a fresh fuck fox in a damn forest fire at this point. And then, uh, what the fuck is a wobble? <laughs> like, y'all didn't tell me nothing about this. I read all the comments, didn't nobody say nothing about this. And apparently when little John screamed, make your knees touch your elbow, his aunt almost broke my hip with her badonka donk. And you can't get off because they just, I'm in the middle of the shit, just kind of white man in it, just back and forth, just wiggling my hips. <laughs> I don't know like, what's going on. I did know the electric slide. That was a good one. After do that, lost. No idea what the hell was going on. None. I did, however, learn this. I learned that there's a big difference between a barbecue and a fish fry down here. Mm -hmm. Because when we went to the barbecue, apparently everybody was on their best behavior and it affected fish fry just just anything goes i mean just anything goes i mean at the at the barbecue the kids were acting right and had manners and stuff but this fish fry they don't give a fuck what you doing and i had no idea that a flip-flop could be used as a deadly weapon Fact. no idea there was more little kids spanked with jordan slides at this fish fry than anything i've ever seen there ain't been that many baby boys booty spanks since neverland ranch was in full operation uh, uh, uh. I am still confused as hell. I feel like I had a bead on this. I mean, I was leading it and everything. I ain't, I ain't shit an ounce. Nothing. Sooner or later, I'm going to figure this shit out. I'm going to quit being the laughing stock of these damn fish fries and barbecues. <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, my God, yo. He want the joiners and got creases in it, like... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Like you can't you can't wear Jordans to the park. You can't wear Jordans to a cookout. You can't wear Jordans to anything that involves grass or walking hard, cause you're gonna catch a crease and then it's gonna be looking like mm, time for a new pair. <laughs> he is super hilarious. Like oh my god, got me dying. Like i don't even know how i came across him but i definitely gonna be checking out some of his stuff he is hilarious if y'all do not know who zach russian is he be talking about his experience with a lot of things but this was definitely a great one i enjoyed this so much i did i did i did oh my god it's so funny but anyway guys i hope y'all enjoyed this video and reaction please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it comment down below if y'all can see more videos from him or anybody else you know talking about their experiences or whatever let me know in the comments down below hit the subscribe button turn that red button gray please thank you and until next time we are out of here peace